Welcome to Crimescape, the channel where we delve into the chilling world of real life crimes. On the serene streets of Davis, California, a shadow was cast by a series of terrifying incidents. A former UC Davis student, Carlos Dominguez, stands accused of a violent stabbing spree, causing a wave of fear to ripple through the city. But what could drive a student to such terrifying acts? And how will the courts handle his case? The tranquil peace of Davis, California was shattered not once, but three times. Each attack, a painful etching on the city's heart. The first victim, David Bro, was known affectionately in the community as the Compassion Guy. The 50-year-old frequenter of Central Park was a well-known figure, cherished for his kindness, empathy, and unconditional love. When he was discovered lifeless on the morning of April 27th, it was not just a man who was lost, but a beacon of compassion extinguished. His friends, like Americo Mesa, remember him as a soul brimming with empathy, a man who was vital to the community's spirit. A couple of days later, tragedy struck again. The victim was 20-year-old Karim Abu Najm, a vibrant UC Davis student and Davis High School graduate. Known as a wonder of energy and a free spirit, Karim was tragically stabbed while walking through Sycamore Park, a path he had taken countless times. His tragic loss was felt deeply by his family, his friends, and the community that knew him as a source of goodness. The third attack targeted Kimberly Guillory, a woman simply trying to survive at a homeless encampment. Struck on May 1st, she was left fighting for her life in critical condition. The connection between these victims? The police's key suspect, Carlos Dominguez. Each attack, allegedly by his hand, contributed to an atmosphere of growing fear and uncertainty within the city. The full extent of their impacts, however, stretched far beyond the victims themselves, affecting the entire community and the sense of safety they once took for granted. Central to this chilling series of events stands a figure once known not for violence, but for academia, Carlos Dominguez. Until just days before the first stabbing, Dominguez was a student at UC Davis, studying biological sciences. An integral part of the student body, his trajectory seemed set towards a career in science. But in a rapid and alarming shift, Dominguez's academic career was abruptly ended. On April 25th, due to academic reasons, the university cut his journey short and he was expelled. From a scholar, he transitioned into a suspect, the alleged orchestrator of a horrific stabbing spree. Dominguez's actions, inexplicable and terrifying, flipped the script of his life dramatically. A former biology student, now a key suspect in a violent series of crimes, Dominguez's story serves as a stark reminder of how swiftly life can change, leaving a trail of questions in its wake. In the courtroom, an unexpected debate emerged. Is Carlos competent to stand trial? While a doctor claimed him unfit, the district attorney disagreed, turning his competency into a question for the jury. Carlos's unexpected admission of guilt, made during the suspended proceedings, added another layer of complexity to an already convoluted case. As the court tries to navigate the complexities of the Carlos Dominguez case, a crucial question remains. Is he competent to stand trial? One doctor concluded he was not, but the district attorney disagreed, leaving the decision to a jury. The process was further complicated when Dominguez claimed guilt and apologized, a statement that held no legal weight given his current competency status. The question of Dominguez's mental health records, sought for release by the district attorney, has also added another layer to the proceedings. As we wait for the competency trial scheduled for July 24th, the outcome of this convoluted legal maze remains uncertain. Will Dominguez stand trial, or will he be deemed incompetent? The road to justice, it seems, is winding and long. The story of Carlos Dominguez, once a promising student, now a suspected murderer, has cast a long shadow over the city of Davis, California. It's a tale of shock, tragedy, and an unexpected turn of events, leaving a community grappling with fear and mourning their lost neighbors. As we await the final legal judgment, the town still wrestles with the uncertainty. Will justice be served? Can a community ever truly recover from such violent, tragic incidents? 
It's important to remember that at the center of this chilling narrative are three individuals whose lives were abruptly and tragically disrupted. The echoes of their loss still reverberate through the community, reminding us of the fragility of life and the unpredictable turns it can take. As the case moves forward, the people of Davis, and indeed the nation, watch with bated breath. For them, the verdict will not only determine the fate of Carlos Dominguez, but it will also bring a step closer to healing the wounds inflicted on their peaceful community. But for now, the quiet town of Davis continues to live under the shadow of these horrific events, seeking closure, justice, and a return to the tranquility it once knew.